Hey guys, so in the span of a year, I gained about 20 pounds of muscle. And before I get into exactly how I achieved this very impressive feat, um, everything that I'm gonna tell you guys came from this book right here called The Positions of Flexion Muscle Training Manual. All right, um, Train, Eat, Grow. It's an old school book, and it makes sense why the principles were super effective. Um, you know, back then, uh, you know, this book, I would say it's from the golden era. Back then, they didn't have as much enhancements uh, and um, things to, to rapidly increase muscle synthesis as we do today. And me, uh, I'm all natural, so I've always struggled with, with gaining muscle and gaining weight, gaining weight, period. All right, so here's my current weight. I should be about 198 um, currently. So this clock's in at 198.2. Um, yeah. All right, so as we go into this book, um, The Positions of Flexion Muscle Training Manual, uh, one of the first chapters is Position of Flexion, Weapon of Mass Destruction. All right. And of course, you got the all-time great right here to the left, Arnold. Now, in this first chapter is where you get literally the print, all the the principles, the main principles that you need. So the it's based on um, using or exhausting three main positions for each muscle group. So the first position is the mid range. The second position is the, where is it? Stretch. And then the last position is the contracted position. All right. All right, guys. So as simple as that, that's honestly what I've been doing for each and every muscle group when I train. Um, every day that I train, exhausting those three positions of flexion, all right, which again is the mid range, which is known for being the mass builder of that muscle. Uh, so I'll go at it this way. So for for chest, all right, if I'm chaining the chest, the chest muscle, the mid range movement would be a, a bench press, barbell bench press, all right. That's the mid range position. The second position is the stretch. All right, in my opinion, this is the most important position. So for the chest, dumbbell uh, flies. All right, specifically dumbbell flies because when you use dumbbells, you're able to feel the load um, of that of that weight in the stretch position. So that will be the stretch position. And then the third position is the contracted. So the the most shortened position of that muscle. So for the chest, it would be pec deck flies where most of the load is in the, the shortened range of the muscle. Or you could even do um, uh, close, in my opinion, close, close grip uh, presses with a bar or a plate. And it's your chest is in its most shortened position. So it's being squeezed in its most shortened position. And guys, when I tell you, when you train the muscles this way, the, the the type of response that you get is crazy. Also guys, I will add um, the difference between the two pictures. Uh, in the first one, I was 10%, um, like I said, and in the second one, or right now, I'm about 10% still, 10, 11% body fat. All right, now, I do wanna mention in both in both scenarios, I was, I've been eating, you know, fairly well, eating a lot, you know, uh, maybe now I'm eating a bit more, you know, but still eating pretty well, um, uh, you know, sleeping enough, get, doing all the right things to gain muscle. Now, it's just when I started training, how I'm about to show you is when I just started seeing muscle accelerating in, in, um, in, uh, for, in like forming, like muscle forming just started occurring faster. Now, the first picture, I was still building muscle. It was just at a slower rate. So all I'm saying with this video is, um, using these principles will, will, uh, in my opinion, dramatically increase, um, the rate at which you, uh, acquire muscle. All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to use the positions of flexion technique that I just, uh, was talking about to train back. All right. I want to show you guys that technique training back specifically the lats. 
And the first, of course, like I said before, is the mid-range movement. This is the first exercise that you want to do for any muscle group that you're training. You want to hit, you want to hit it in the mid-range, and that's like the main event, the mass builder. So for back, specifically for the lats, I like to do bent over rows. And here I'm doing about 12 to 15 reps, four sets. All right, guys, we're really setting setting the tone for the whole workout with this one. All right, so next we have the stretch. And for, for, that, for that exercise specifically, targeting the back, specifically the lats, I like to do dumbbell pullovers. And this is my favorite exercise by far for really eliciting that stretch effect, really stretching and pulling the muscle fibers. Like I said, this is one of the more important um, uh, movements that you will do using this technique. So um, this is the stretch. Again, I did about um i did i did about uh, 12 to 15 reps four sets uh for this exercise as well this is the this is number two and yeah and remember after we do all these positions uh the mid-range stretch and contracted the muscle is going to be completely exhausted which is what the end goal is All right, guys, last but not least is the shortest position in the different positions of flexion, the contracted position, right? So this is when the muscle is all tightened up and dense. And you can see in my back, everything is kind of squeezed together, the opposite of stretching, basically. So um, here I'm doing uh, pull downs on the lat pull down machine, cable machine, um, using an underhand grip to really get those lats um, really squeezing. But this is, those are pretty much all three movements that you should do for every single muscle group you want, you're training. Status post back. Um, yeah, I only did, honestly, those three, those three exercises that I showed you guys. And my back, my, especially my lats, which is what I was, the, which was what the focus was for today completely destroyed completely uh like i feel sore already like right after training so really training in this way is super super critical for gaining mass quickly all right let's get it yep well that's poking out poking yep. let me see if i give you guys a better look but yeah, I'm sitting at 195 right now. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's the best look. <laughs>